All right, y'all, so today we are going to change the cabin air filter on a 2010 Chevy Impala. Um, 06 to 13, they will all be the same. Now, if you're like me and you wondered where the heck this thing is, I'm going to show you. First, get yourself a uh, new cabin air filter. I prefer this Fram one. It has the uh, active charcoal in there, which will cut down on the odors. I picked up these two little hook tools from Harbor Freight. I'm going to use these to get the stupid clips out, but you can use whatever you want. This is just what I'm going to use. So here's my O10 Impala. You're going to start out by coming up here to the passenger side. And you've got this rubber gasket here. Just pull it back about halfway. I'll raise your windshield wiper arms in the up position. They're going to be out of the way. Make your life easier. So we've got this pulled back, and there are two clips. Camera to focus here. There's one of them. And the other one is right here. And we've got to remove these clips. So I'm going to use my two little hooks here. There's a little slot here. That you can get under or try to get under. Pull up the center piece. This is a pain in the ace. Starting to come up. So you pull out the little center pin and just set that to the side. And then the other piece inside, you can use the hook. There's a slot in there. You can just hook it in there and pull it out, or you should, except this one wants to be a pin in that butt. And that's how you take out this annoying clip. Uh, if your car has been in the sun a lot, or these look old and brittle, I'd suggest getting some new ones from Chevrolet. Or, uh, I actually got this cabin air filter from rockauto.com, and they have these stupid little clips. So we got the one on the left out. I'm going to pull out this center one here. This, there's a little slot there. You probably can't see it on the camera. If you hook under that with the little picks, you can pull it out. That one's a whole lot easier because you're not fighting with the hood in the way. And there we go. Now go ahead and grab your trim here. Lift it up. I'll tear off your washer hose here. It's clipped in there. Go ahead and take out the clip there. And gently pull it back. So now here's what we've got. Now what we've got to take out now is this piece of plastic. Just grab it, and lift up, and pull forward. And now here is our cabin air filter. That's got leaves and dirt and crap all up in it. And God only knows when the last time it was changed. Manufacturer recommends every 12 or 15,000 miles. Now, most of these have a little pull tab on them. You just grab the pull tab, bend the filter, and pull it forward. And you don't want to dump all the leaves and crap down in it, otherwise, next time you turn on your air conditioner, it's going to blow all that crap right back in it. So that's how you get it out. Installation is the reverse. These are kind of cool, they have slots in them so that you can bend it. Don't worry about bending it. Bend it. Put it on down in there. And now we can put it back together. Of course, taking it apart is always easier than getting it back together. Snap that line back in. And work around the edge of the hood here. Oh wait, I'm retarded. Gotta put that piece back in. 
Just bend it, hook your little clips on the front. And set her on down back in there. Get this little piece of foam here to help keep the crap out. Fold that back up there. Now we can put this piece back in. The corner of the hood there is kind of a pain in the butt. Just bend it and get it on in there. Most of them have a slot. Just there it is. If you get that slot there, it'll go back in like so. And now we put our little clips back in. Push the first piece in, and take your little second one, stuff it on in there, or just line it up. It's not going to do anything. Grab the right piece, it would help. One that's the pangs back here, and I didn't give you any room to work with it. Jerk. And snap your little rubber back on here. And that is how you change the cabin air filter on a 2006 to 2013 Chevy Impala. Like I said, they recommend doing it every 10 to 15,000 miles. If it's smelling nasty when you turn on your air conditioner, it's probably time to do it. I said, these aren't too expensive. I got mine at Harbor or at uh, Rock Auto. And I got the little tools, little picks at uh, Harbor Freight. Hope you enjoyed. Have fun out there.